Hello and welcome back to Metro Exodus. Let's continue with the Sam's story. What do you know? It really was as easy as booking a ticket after all. Well, almost. I only need to get some fuel rods to revive the submarine's reactors. How hard can it be? Don't the Russians have this stuff just sitting all over the place? In this case, though, there's only one man who actually knows... Hey, Ed, who were those guys? Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit where credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long seen... That's better. Didn't stop raiding. A few years back, they made one last attempt. We just departed. You did not miss anything. They were so anything important they didn't so far? They down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sail them off to traders. <coughs> Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> They visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> but why do those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. <laughs> you got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many foglies in the lower floors. So the lift's no luxury. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel this soul and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. That's kind of spooky, but okay. And we're there. Come on in, Sam. No, that's not too shabby. Self at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Well, 
Well, I can't work on my stuff right now. So I guess we're just joining you in the chair. Tell me, Sam. What's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids, or even something as noble as creating the kingdom of heaven on Earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war. So could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now? When we're barely surviving after that one. Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is first and foremost a businessman. And he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof. But the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already. And now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Clem will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. Then we have a deal. We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. You won't. A deal is a deal, Edward. See you soon. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says. I can't trust him, but... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. Ah, damn. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. By the sound of it, you broke it. Oh, shit! Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already. Mm. Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. Here. Wow, that's a nice surprise. All right, no point in putting it off any longer now. Cheers. <sighs> Not so bad. <laughs> Here. You have some too. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Come on. Let's get it done. Oh. Oh. Disgusting. All right. I'm ready. Pull it hard. Hold on to your hat. Oh, you said it. <laughs> 
Jesus. I don't think it worked. Let me catch my breath. That was a little bit too much. And it feels like he his knee is not just swollen, it's like dislocated or anything. Why do you pull it? I'm I'm uh, I'm at a loss here. And get one for yourself too. Cheers. <laughs> oh, still awful. Okay. Pull again. Put your back into it. Right. I will do all I can. By the sound of it, it was dislocated. Thanks for the leg. I feel better already. Cheers. Cheers. I say, let's not go anywhere tonight. Mm. Not oh. bad at all. Okay, let's go check the generator. Are you sure? When my ex old bird sings and shouts, where the hell is my death machine? I think I got this. Pull that lever, Sam. Shit, I ain't got it. That's your bad leg. Huh? You hear that? Music? What? The music? Had we had some music? Amen to that. You're not worried that some dudes are coming in? Okay, let me fix this. I definitely got it now. Start it, sir. <laughs> now we talk this. It's a very good song, by the way. Sorry. I might get copyrighted, though. Wait. Uh, what the? Uh, by the way, care to tell me your story? Are you sure? Come on, sir. Unwind. Sure. Why not? When we buried the colonel, I just knew I had to leave. And I just knew Dad I was waiting. Thanks for telling me, son. We were on the ropes by then. And had to take the deal. And that bastard wants to save the world? Bah! He's going to become a pirate with nukes. And that's it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think it's quite like that. He has ideas. <laughs> ah, I'm king of the world! <clears throat> oh, good. I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy. Why, thank you. <sighs> I don't know. He's not a madman, Ed. I know, but still, ah, to hell with him. Let's drink. <sighs> Come on, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you, Sam, you're a nice guy, but you lack respect. Respect of your elders. <laughs> ah, I'm, I mean, why aren't you drinking? Because I'm here. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm here. You are there too. Weird. Uh, I need a drink. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> Not bad at all. <sighs> <laughs> Amen to that. Now that's what I call a party. 
<laughs> He's out of it. <laughs> Now then, oh, Ed. Ed. Oh, what happened? Ed. I'm blind. What were we drinking? You're not blind, you're sleeping face down. And stop shouting. Oh, my head. Oh. <laughs> you're drinking Molotovs. Oh, my head. That's why I don't drink. Oh, oh, it's terrible. But I feel better now. <sighs> Here, finish this. It will help a bit. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, I'm gonna get okay, so copyrighted over well, the music, I think. Let's go back to the conversation we had yesterday. Still have I no control. I don't know where that fuel is, and it's not even that far. In an underground submarine base. The tunnels are half flooded, but still accessible. The entrance is in the Naval HQ building. Radiation's off the charts there, though. So I wouldn't even try without a protective suit. This building used to be a fire department, and I know they had some suits in case of an accident with one of the swords. Now the place is overrun by bandits, so it's not going to be a walk in the park, I guess. Think you can handle it? Okay. I guess some fresh air will do me good. I'll go get those suits. Thank you, Sam. I'll be getting ready here, too. Oh, you should take the stairs down there and through the door. Oh, I almost forgot. While going downstairs, could you reload the traps? The mutants do visit this place from time to time. I'll try to, Ed. There's one Molotov left. Take it. There are many dead bandits on the lower floors. You should have the materials for more if you need any. Um... I got... at least... some... Uh, markings on the map, right? I do have one like point of interest and find a boat. Okay. The only path to the fire depot lies through the bandit base overlooking the upper lake entrance, so I have to take a boat from them. Now then, let's investigate our surroundings. There was a bench over here, I can use that. Don't see anything else in here, so let's just check out the bench. No, I think we're actually doing fine.
Ed, Sam here. One trap rearmed. I have a very silly question. Like downright idiotic. If I pass it, will it react to me? It does not. Cool. I like it. I mean, I'm glad that I did not use any ammo on the, on the mutant. But damn, my throwing knife. Oh, I will be taking that. This Thank is you. a real prize. Melody number four. So I can go here or I can go here. I would first try this passage. Because I don't like picking the doors just like that. Seriously? I'd say that was nicely done. This is yet another trap. Uh, I got the second one. Three left. But I do have some questions now. Uh, originally, I skipped uh, a passage down this one. Number five. Problematic moments when you just like, and where am I supposed to go? Like, which direction? I don't want to like get uh, over some area where I will not be able to backtrack. That would be silly. Third trap armed. Two left. around anyone else
what if I should have uh, armed number five and then pro well, okay. Let's not ask uncomfortable questions right away. Let's just let's just see what we can do. Oh, nice. Parasha. Was that a silencer? Because this will make it my first weapon with a silencer. Yes, oh, suppressor. Potato, potato. I believe this will take me just around. Am I right? I seem to be right. Yes. Number four, sure. Just one trap left now. What the are you? Oh, that's yeah, that's the sniper gun. Oh, I kind of make this thing my sniper gun, which is interesting. Why did I do that? Uh, I mean, it's it's nice on a big distance, yes, but mid range, I'd prefer like to still be able to use it as well. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, and that returns me to this uh, big staircase. Yes, and then trap number five. Ed, it's Sam again. Sogotovo. All traps rearmed. Pajalista, Ed. This is it. Hello. Let's try not to mess with the uh, locals. I'm not looking for trouble, am I? Uh, all that mind disarming training is paying off big time. So I can grab a boat, yes, but I can also go this way, right?
No, 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 I just wanna zoom in, please. So, according to the Steam Guide, I'm supposed to be taking a boat. Yes. Cool. I did not kill him. Wonder if anyone's coming to avenge these jokers. Uh, alrighty. First and foremost, I did not kill your dude, okay? If he's dead, I have nothing to do with it. Look at them ambushing me like this. I'm not sure I can just go here. Yeah, I probably cannot. Got it. Glad Toka to have taught me how to disarm those. Oh, I can take this thing. Apparently I don't even need a boat that much. Right? If I take this thing, I go immediately on this land. Do I want that? Or do I want to have a boat? Uh, making a choice is difficult. Yeah, surprisingly, right? Right. 
Peter fucking his own brother over just like that. Then everything went down the drain all because of him. Okay. Oh, all my life destroyed. But I will get back at him. I will. I so will. He'll know he shot me here. <laughs> he will. He will. I'll shoot him. Did he send you? Oh. Hey, my so-called brother. He couldn't get me to give up, so he sends a hitman. I'm no hitman. You, you're not? Well, sorry for jumping to conclusion. It's my brother's fault. I wouldn't put it past him. It's because of him I'm hiding in this dump, eating overgrown lice. Oh, shut up, you damn beast! Can't wait to be roasted! Shut up! Piece of shit! Just like that brother of mine. He wants to take my car dealership. Well, my share in it. Does it matter? Car dealership? The Kovshinov brothers. Right to drive. What? Haven't you heard of it? You must be new in town. Everybody knows us. If you say so. We deal in used cars from Japan. Quality ones. We started from scratch. Against all odds. But once we get the business going, that bastard decided to fuck me over. I arrived at the office one day, and there's a new guard. And he won't let me in. He took all I had. Some brother he is. Angela, our accountant, was right. I should never have trusted him. Never. He brought it all down. Destroyed it all. I'm not sure he's saying. Um, but the war. Ah, who cares? My brother fucked me over. Don't you see? Yeah, yeah, but it's classics for families. But Come on. I have a plan. You need to get inside our dealership. Get the incorporation documents from the safe box and bring them to me. Then I'll have proof. I'm not going to let him die a beggar, of course. He's a brother, after all. I'm not like him. But I will pull his poison teeth out. I will. Will you help me? You just need to get sure, it. Why not? my brother to spill his half of the code. We only knew half each to show it was our joint effort. We were stupid. I was stupid. Only Angela knew the whole code. Get his half of the code. Open the safe box and bring That's me suspicious, the documents. By the way. You will do it, won't you? Look, my half of the code is this. One, two, Three, four. You must be choking me. Huh. What? Ah, no matter. Go, go now. I will wait for you here. Oh, we'll show that bastard. We'll show him. Now you'll see. Oh, now you'll see. You will. <laughs> the dealership is mine. Mine alone. <laughs> So, some brother you are backstabber. That bastard striking all that shit around my house. I see some ammunition there. But is it enough for me to get in there? I don't know. Should we move on? 
Dodge Joe Press. I have a topic to discuss, and this place seems to fit the bill. No extra ears around. Ha! I feel trouble brewing. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Nothing wrong. The boys and I took a good look at you. You are smart, level-headed. We need people like you. Still, you're new here, and you don't know much. So we decided to talk to you. Just give you something to think about at leisure. I'm fine with thinking. So what do you got? Look, there's Kat, our top boss. I think you know what kind of a man he is already. There's also Clean. You're working directly under. So you know him even better. Having any of those two as your enemy is bad news. They don't just bury people that cross them. They do it so that the poor bastards have enough time to remember and to curse all their relatives for bringing them into this world. Yeah, it's nice to be on their side. You're right there. <laughs> the thing is, the guys have been thinking. While these two are together, we're golden. But what happens if they have a falling out? We don't have any say in anything, of course. But once one of them comes out on top, he's going to count everyone who didn't support him as enemies, which means they're screwed. So, you understand that people like us must know which side to end up on when shit hits the fan. So, which one? As if anyone could tell. <laughs> All this is just... Speculation. But since you put it this way, I think anyone with a good head on his shoulders would be able to take a look and see which way the wind is blowing and whom to back when push comes to shove. I see. Much appreciated. You really got my noggin joggin. Who the hell are you? Name's Sam. I'm working for Tom. Ah, I know you. I saw you there. So, you are second American, huh? Ah, I heard you were supposed to be around. Well, That's come me. Here. Yes. We'll tell you what's what. We aren't called scouts for nothing after all. So, you're gonna tell me something or not? So, first of all, beware of the bat wing roaming about. We haven't seen it, just heard it. Judging by its shouts, it's huge and angry as hell. Probably it's wounded. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. I wonder who wounded Next, him though. Where did you need to go? To the fire depot. You can see it from here. The red building with a tower. It's about half a click from here as the crow flies. Right. But you don't look like a crow. It's close. But it's gonna be hard to get there. <laughs> yeah, crows have it easy in these parts. Look, that unfinished building from before the war. You need to go through it. That's the only way to the upper bog where the fire depot is right now. There's a gang that set up shop there, though. They used to do some slave trade. But lately they switched to the latest thing and started catching those human-like mutants. Can you imagine that? We've been at odds with them since forever. And anyway... They never like strangers. They're sure to open fire as soon as they see you. Don't expect a warning. Got so, it. Try to remain unseen. Thank you. I will. What else have we got here? Ah, here. Look this way now. See that two-storied tower-like building on that islet? It used to be a police post before the war. Now it's taken over by a gang too. Complete mad lads. Though they're busy catching the fuglies now. Like the others. That business is on the rise over here, you know? What they have there is a warehouse of sorts. So there should be some good loot there. That little islet supposedly houses a cache of sorts. A few years back, a new gang appeared in this town. Those were some crazy bastards. But they were good. They went and demanded tributes from gangs thrice their numbers. And murdered everyone who didn't pay up. They had training, spitznots like. They also had gear. Like in the movies, armor, guns. Each of them had night vision, too. <laughs> they had a good run, 
ended up controlling a huge swath of the ruins, even with their numbers. Then the other gangs decided they had enough, got together and smashed them completely. So all that remains of them today are their caches marked by their sign. A skull wearing night vision goggles. So watch out for those. Why? I bet all those places were looted long ago. I wouldn't be so sure. Those guys are real show-offs. Each of their caches is like a puzzle box. The chosen ones in the know are supposed to get it. While random Joes like us are not. Huh. The boys did find hidden buttons opening doors a couple of times. But all through sheer luck, they never got the principle. Perhaps you'll get it, after looking at the situation with your unbiased American eye. <laughs> I might. You forgot the Fuglies! Ah, yes. Watch out on that islet with the cash. The Fuglies are especially large and tough there. I've no idea why, and I don't care. But these large ones are in demand, so the hunters don't clear them out. They just catch okay. a couple from time to time and leave the rest to repopulate. Got it. So How do they repopulate, to be honest? We told to observe and render assistance if needed. We told you what we know. That should count. Thanks, guys. Good luck. See ya! Now then. I was also looking for this. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, if you say so. Melody number five. Yes, I do have a sniper rifle ammo. I also have a reinforced helmet. And I can have an ammunition pouch. <coughs> Sorry. Now that I have my ammunition pouch, am I able to create more ammunition? Yes, I can. Cool. Since I am going for the Foglies, I might as well, as well take a semi-automatic upgrade. And then we will head uh, to the cache. So, can I be just like kind of fast and furious here? I seem to be distracted, so don't mind me. Don't mind me. I am going away after all. No need to be angry or anything. Shall we go left? Shall we go right? I'd go left. I see some planks in this direction, so... Two 
doing my part. Okay. It's really sad that they were able, like the local bandits were able to deal with the night owls, right? That's that, that, that was their name. Because night owls seems really cool. Like they have a proper training. They have uh, specialized equipment, so they seem like professionals, but then you just uh, overrun them, right? Through sheer numbers. It's just sad. And here I was hoping that uh, that you can just uh, you know deal with the snake with a throwing knife. It's an even bigger magazine, right? Must be, by the looks of it. Closed reflex sights and high capacity mag. Yeah, I can also put this on here, but like, why? I guess that's another entrance, right? Anything else in here? God damn it, you are tough. I used to have more throwing knives. Can tell you that much. Of course it's closed here. There should be a way in, right? I 
I must say, I'm even curious what will happen if I step in one of those. Though I had a very clear illustration what might happen. So... Maybe I won't do this right now. So... I can follow... Uh, and check out this point of interest over there. Because I don't like unmarked spots on the map. Like un unstudied. If I may say something like this. But I need a boat to get there, right? I cannot just go there. And the guide tells me to go another way. Not to these gentlemen. So, uh, yeah. What I can do is uh, wait until the night and then investigate this place nonetheless. Because, uh, I mean, who can stop me, right? If I want to investigate it, why should I not investigate it? Um, I'm just double checking it. Uh, maybe... No, so according to like this guide, we are completely skipping this place. And I mean, to be honest, I can understand it. I just expect, expect bandits there. Apparently there is no uh, notable wood or anything in this building. But I mean, messing up with the bandits. Do you really want to skip that? Then we can start the next episode with uh, making our run for the boat and then going for these bandits. That does sound like a plan when I say it, so... Uh... Um, yeah, I might use that one though. So I have either a battery charge controller or night vision amplifier. Of course I'm going for the amplifier, I mean, duh, I like night vision goggles. So, we can briefly check out songs 3 and 4, or maybe even 5. That one makes me sad, okay. That one just... That one is just weird for me, okay. Oh, that one is somewhat funny, okay. Uh, yeah. 
No fancy animations of falling asleep. Alright. Fine with me. Now, the knife has fallen, and you know what that means. That it is infiltration time. But as I just mentioned, this will take place in the next episode. For now, thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoy my company and my gameplay. If this is the case, then by all means leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let me know down in the comments what I can improve for you. Hope to see you next time. Have a nice day out there. And bye.